All right, it's all together. Um, I ran out of wire. They didn't give me enough wire to complete the project. Um, so these two, uh, these two inductors down here are my own wire. Um, I happen to have um, a lifetime, 17,000 lifetime supplies uh, of uh, uh, 32 gauge high voltage polythermalite thermalizing. I don't know. It's good for uh, winding high voltage transformers and stuff. I got it at a flea market for like a buck or something. So it's a steal. Okay. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so I wound those. The reason I bought this board is I thought it'd be a really fun thing to measure. Okay. So input and a whole bunch of outputs. I put little wheels on here so we can do it easily. So, uh, we will begin by, uh, making a through measurement, a uh, tracking generator on, uh, we will uh, normalize it, and we will set the uh, reference position up here to 90% uh, to, uh, 90, 90%. So that's, that is zero up there, okay? Because this thing's only gonna have loss, so it won't have any gain. All right, so I will connect, oh, you can watch me do it. I will connect the uh, tracking generator to the antenna input. So now uh, all of the output should be live. Uh, the board was set up so that these are all male. I don't like those things, but that's okay. Um, I just reused them. So I'm gonna be using this. So we will go into the lowest frequency first. Okay, so we're into the lowest frequency. And we get a bandpass filter, all right? And so we have this nice hump here. So we will trace A, we will, we will remember it, okay? Sorry about the dryer. And we will move on to the next filter, all right? And we will go to B. And there's our next filter. So you can see that that's that one and that's that one. So that one's really nice. We can hold that one. I'll move over, I'll move over to the next filter. And it should proceed. It's just taking, taking band passes out of the whole frequency spectrum, right? Let's go to C. Yep, there's that one. So we will remember that one and then I'll go up we have four traces on the uh, spectrum analyzer here, four memories, I should say. So we could uh, turn this one on. And now we have four out of five. All right, so we'll go here and there's that one. So we will view that one. So you can see um, we have uh, that channel, that channel, that channel, that channel. It's breaking up the spectrum, okay? And then the last one should be a high pass that lets everything through, okay? So we will hook up the last filter. I'll, I'll, I'll erase this one and then we'll, we can see that one. Uh, it's not cooperating. All right. All right, so we can go back to our A trace and we can, oh gosh, um, we can view this one. So, um, wow, there's something wrong there. I think it's wrong. Wow. Yeah, let's just take a look at that last one here. Let's, um, let's uh, blank that one and we'll blank that one. And we'll blank that one. Yeah, so that's our last filter. Wow, that's wrong. It's got a lump. And then it's got a whoop-de-doo. So that's just wrong. In my book, it should just kind of come up and over. That's just weird. Um, hmm. So let's, uh, let's go look at what's going on here. All right, so according to the schematic or the uh, values on the PC board, we have 0 0.6 mi mi um, microhenries, 0.53, and then 0 0.6. 
And then we have 110, 150, 330, and 270 picofarads. So let's compare that against the schematic. And this is the schematic here. And it's 267, 147, 147, 267. So it's symmetric, which most filters are. But those values don't match what's down here. And the symmet symmetric Cation, the, the, how symmetrical it is, is not there. It's not symmetric at all. So the weird thing is none of these values on this schematic match any of the values here on the board. So somewhere it got changed and maybe they picked the values they had or somebody else touched it. I don't know, but they seem to have gotten this section wrong. So uh, I'm going to go model this and see if it's wrong or just my brain doesn't work right. So we'll go model it, see if the values are right. Maybe we can find some values that are correct and we can like change change some of these things. I don't want to rewind that. Well, I guess I can rewind them. Anyway, we can change these values and see if we can't make it better. Um, so that will be that will be a good exercise. Um, but yeah, look at all those toroids. It took me a long time. <laughs> A long time. So uh, let's type in those numbers that the PC board has. So this is the circuit the PC board has. Uh, 110, 150, 330, 270 picofarads, and then 0 0.6, 0 0.35, and 0 0.6 microhenries. And if we do an AC analysis on that, we get... Um, we get this funny shape, which is kind of what we're seeing. We're seeing this peak, and then it kind of wiggles and then it finally evens out all right so so i went to this tool marky microwave and i said i want a high pass filter chevy chev i want a series first capacitor i want seventh order uh five uh, 9.5 megahertz blah blah blah, blah. and then it automatically uh, creates this circuit it says here's what you need and it's 280, 160, 160, 280. And look at the waveform. It's beautiful. It comes up and it's straight. So this is really, I mean, this is the values they should have used, right? All right, so let's go back to our simulation. All right, so this is our circuit. Let's just swap some things around here. Let's make this one uh, 270. The input and the output should be the same. The middle two should be the same. They should be 160. Let's just try our 150 since since we already got one in there. So we'll just try this configuration out. Analysis AC. Look at that. Look at that. A beauty. It's a beauty. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know how they screwed that PC board up so much. Well, this is the filter, we, filter that we want. Um, let's go back and, oops, I did something weird. Let's kill this. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put in 160s here if we're going to be changing everything. See if it really makes much of a difference. Not, I don't think it will. I don't think it will. AC run. Yeah, it's not going to make much difference at all. So we'll go ahead and uh, uh, we'll go ahead and put in. This one is already 150. This one's uh, 330 right now. Don't ask me why. Um, and then let's change this front one to 270. Let's see that. Nope, still got that little whoop de doo in it. Uh, so this one can use to come, this one needs to come down to uh, 150. Oops. 50 picofarads, and maybe we can move the 330 over here. <laughs> Run that. Should be fine. Yeah, should be fine. So we can reuse <laughs> we can reuse that capacitor. We'll move that capacitor over to here. And then all we need to do is find a 150 picofarad and we'll be done. So yeah, what a screw up. Thank you.